In this video we're going to talk about interruptions during a video. For instance, let's play this video here and you can see the guy basically putting some uh, screws in there and he's going to attach screws with the uh, screwdriver. And let's imagine this guy was interrupted. He's not interrupted in the video, but I want to show you how to handle the interruptions and uh, so that you know how to uh, accommodate that. So let's record the activity here. And you can see him uh, starting to prepare the screws. Let's imagine interrupted now. So he says prepare screws and tighten. Now let's say he's now interrupted. So maybe there's now uh, you know, a minute or two of interruptions here. So you can see my time up here is seven seconds I've recorded for this. So what I'm going to do is just record another you know, five or six seconds, assuming he's interrupted to talk to someone here. And we'll just call that uh, talk to colleague. And we save that there. Now, just so I get the end of the element, I'm actually going to just rewind that back to the starting point here. You can see I've got seven seconds here, plus six seconds of talking to colleague that we'll have to imagine. And now let's imagine he goes back and finishes doing this task. So we hit the start again. He's finishing off the uh, last one right there. And then he walks over, so stop it right there. So that's the continuation of a pre prepare screws and tighten. So we select the same element again to put it back in here. And then what we do is we do this add to last right here. We click on the add to last. And what that's going to do when I save this, it's going to put a little plus sign in here. You can see it right here. You can see I've got 7 seconds plus 10.8. So in total with the rounding it's probably about 18 seconds here. And now when I go to my summary here, I click on the summary. You'll notice here I've got one observation, just 18 seconds. And what's happening is that any time you use the add to last toggle right here, any time you use that, this observation is going to be added to the previous occurrence, this observation. And it's all done by the uh, the descriptive. descriptive. So you have to make sure the descriptive is consistent, and then it will automatically add these numbers together. Now that could happen again. Let's say the colleague come back and you had more talking time, and then he went back to preparing the screws again. You could have another observation down here with the same thing, another time and another plus sign here, and it would actually add all three of them together. So this is an ideal way to handle interruptions uh, during your video time study.